Hello guys, my name is Russian Afterman and welcome back to another Olishno episode. I still have a bit of a flu, but I uh, thought I would arse out an episode for you guys. The last episode, I think, was the shrubbery, which is now placed and wonderful. That was a very random episode, but I... But I love it. I love it. It might have been the episode if I uploaded it. We'll see, we'll see. But today we're going to find an establishment for a new place of mine. But first, we are going to name our little village here. And I thought of a name. And on season one, I had a village name Odflichno, and the server was called Aragoni Naniopolis. So instead of the village be named Alish? No, I'm gonna name it Arigani Naniopolis. <laughs> that makes sense. The vi the the village of Arigani Naniopolis. Arigani Naniopolis. <laughs> there we go. Uh, and we just could torch it up later there. It looks nice. So. Yeah, uh, I thought the first big thing I'd build on the server uh, was going to be a Viking establishment where I would uh, basically build Viking styled homes and ships and be like a port where ships can dock and do all that fun stuff. So let's check out Spawn. We haven't checked out Spawn in a while. Sorry if it's a siren a little bit nasally today. Uh, this is Vladimir the Pigman Four's uh, cage. He's not yet, uh, not yet present. This is the mysterious tunnel, and there is the wonderful shrubbery, the elderly, oh most holy shrubbery of Ni. It is a holy uh, Monty Python Holy Grail reference. If, if you're wondering. Oh, and yeah, leave it the donation chest has some stuff in there. We uh, made a made a fountain here instead. It looks pretty nice. Uh, I was I reserved this to build. I was gonna see if I would rebuild the museum. Not too sure yet. Then first, it, that's the oldest shrubbery down there, and then here is the youngest. The beware the young and the restless and free little shrubs. That is the the first stage of shrubbery, and then the mature and yet still restless teenage shrubbery, and then we have the elderly shrub shrub shrubbery, and that it doesn't say C. That was supposed to be O T L, but I ran out of quartz, so I've done a lot off camera, which I kind of feel bad because uh, I was sick but I had nothing to do, so I can just. Did a lot of stuff on here. There's a little stairway and kind of a a beach to the pond, and we now have a bathroom here with with uh, piping that goes to the back into our beautiful pond to pollute it. You know, have to put the derm, uh, have to put the dump somewhere. And Mr. Vigo built this uh, tunnel down to the portal down here, which is pretty nice. The nether, it's pretty, it's pretty creepy looking in there. Let's go check it out real quick. Hopefully you don't explode or catch on fire. That would suck. Oh no, it's decently safe. Yeah, it's a nice, we're at a nice spot. <laughs> wow. We're really close to that lava. I should have taken uh, my words back. We're, well, But this is a actually a pretty nice spot. Lots of nice quartz and we're on a, on a mountain here, which is pretty good. Pretty good. Let's go back and see uh, what else is in spawn before we begin our uh, little bit of a traveling expedition. Uh, there's our community anvil and our podium, banner podium. There's me, so there's going to be a name at the bottom and top. For the top people, there's about 20 uh, slots here. There's longs and lashes, like his skin there. And then I thought I would start building the egg stand here. Just to bring it back. Just throwback Thursday, you know. 
Uh, here's an underground thing that Lash is working on. It looks pretty cool. I like that. It looks like uh, a Transformer is going to come out there and eat my soul or something. Mr. Vigo has been doing some really good progress on his on his uh, kingdom here. Very nice bridge. Uh, he has a house here. A little mine, I think. And then he has a chicken maker, which uh, might be a concern for me and Mr. Long's Los Hoyos Hermanos. I like his uh, layout here. It looks like it's going to be a really cool castle on top of the on top of the mountain. I don't know. I went a little bit Scottish there. Then he has his uh, bedroom here. Very nice with the armor stands. Oh, some nice stuff in there. Oh yes. Nice stuff there, indeed. I tried to go mining with Derp the other day, but it didn't work out too well because his internet failed. But I, I might throw in a little clip of it uh, in this video, probably after this. What's going on, everybody? Super Dope Films here with Russian Afro Man, and welcome to Lishno Season 4. Did she do that? I don't know who did that. Shoot him! Get him! Get him, Skeeter! Get him, Skeeter! Oh my. <laughs> And here we have someone house, someone's house. I'm not too sure whose house it is. In the mine down there, of course. And that's pretty much it for spawn so far. Just kind of jazzed it up a little bit. Uh, I think this is going to be a restaurant later on. Then we have our beautiful village of Aragon in Noniopolis. And we saw this a couple episodes, I believe. Uh, Auntie's... Auntie's house. And Mr. Dirt pranked him here. And Auntie just left it, and he said someone will knock it down, so... As a tribute to Auntie Anthony, I shall knock his prank down. Mr. Derp's prank down. That is a lot of nice reeds right there. I'm gonna give it to him because I have a lot of reeds. Uh, where is his chests? Oh, here's one. Okay, I'll just leave it in here. There you go, Auntie. And yeah, some night he was in uh, exploring with Long, and he gave me this. He just left it here, but I. Put a sign on it, oh holiest mo of mossy cobble, and oh holiest of red mushrooms. I gave him, well, he gave me this block, so I placed a sign, and I gave him this block, so he placed a sign, so pretty cute. <laughs> uh, squad goals, I guess. Uh, not too much going on in the town. We have the bathroom. Uh, we have lots of bathrooms here. This is a different design of roof for the bathroom, and, uh, toilet can yeah that's a good word for it. can then mr. derp's house is coming along nicely I think he's moving pretty soon we could remove this sign and we still have some empty houses which people can go in if they want to and what wait oh yes yeah, long straight okay and he has a nice nice bedroom down here that leads to my basement actually and Mr. Golden tried to prank me, which I haven't taken down yet. All the... Wait. Oh. It was right here. Yeah. Uh, he tried to prank me by putting dirt up here to... Uh... Then I would come down here and be like, Where the hell? How'd my, how'd my sheep, how'd my hole get so small? But he uploaded the video before I, before I saw it, so it didn't work out do well for him and I got a few gifts here from some people I got a Dr. Vladimir from Long sharpness book very nice it's a lot of emeralds and then 35 paper for some emeralds this is a good deal and los pollos hermanos chican I'll have to breed them pretty darn soon they're just sitting in the cauldron waiting to be cooked and uh, let's 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 gather up the supplies so we could start our adventure. All right, I believe we have everything we need for this adventure. I want to 
preferably to be on a medium-sized island uh, in the ocean or close to the land and not too too far from spawn so first I'm going to try to go this way we have six potatoes that could last us for not very long so I'm just gonna borrow Vigo's chickens real quickly just half of them and I'll pay him back later I'll pay your chickens back later, Vigo. I want to have it somewhat far from this kingdom, though, because I think there, I think there's going to be a wee, a little bit of conflict going on with the kingdom. Yeah, I've been watching Vikings recently and also playing uh, Mountain War, Mountain Blade Warband Viking Conquest, big title, uh, which is basically. A game about Vikings and their adventures and their trading and their raiding and all that is a very fun game to me anyway and uh, kind of got inspired by all these things because I know they're kind of building style now and uh, I want to I wanna try some things out uh, as you may have noticed I'm using my old mic right now because the new blue Yeti I still have to do a bit of adjustments. You might have heard from the uh, racing video, the mini game Monday racing video. Uh, it's it's pretty good quality, but it's kind of weird because it's it's such good quality that it is. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of hard to hear, or you just I don't know. It's uh, it's hard to explain. And in Vikings, I might as well tell you the the story, the the plot line of the Vikings, the show on History Channel. Just finished another season. It's about a, a farmer named Ragnar Lofbrok, who uh, believes that there is land in the west. I'm pretty sure they keep going to the north, and he believes there's land to the west, but the king says no. No, there is no land to the west. You shall not go there, because I am the king. And uh, Ragnar Lofbrook says, well, I want to go there anyway. So he goes on his own demands, raids a monastery. That's where uh, the priests and monks and all the, the Christians would be. And so he came back with gold. And then the king said, oh yes, go, go a couple times more. And, but then the king doesn't really like the guy. The king doesn't really uh, enjoy him at all. So what happens is the king ends up fighting Ragnar Lofbrok. And then Ragnar Lofbrok uh, becomes king. And sooner on becomes king of uh, that region, I suppose. So, I won't spoil too much in case you want to watch it. Very good story, very good. Uh, and I'll write a spoiler at the beginning of this talk. <laughs> and so, he has a Christian friend who says to go, who, who talks about France. Because they went to the Kingdom of Mercia. And that's in England. And so they raid that a little bit, and uh, so they go to France, and France is, has a very good defense system. So they get a little bit screwed over at first, but that's where the season ends, and it's a very interesting story, actually. I enjoyed it quite a bit. <coughs> Mr. Sweet is watching as well. Uh, talk about it sometimes. It's very good. This looks like not bad land. I just don't want it to be too large either. I know Vikings didn't really live on an island, but I want it to be kind of like a region. Well, they lived on an island, but more of a... It's hard to explain. I want it to be like a port-ish, if that makes sense. I think right here could work nicely. We have some nice plains. In a taiga would be better, nice snow, snow kind of effect, but I think over here, oh shit, I think around here would work. Yeah. Then we have a nice bush at the back. I think this would be good. 
Well, I'll, I'll put a marker, and if uh, things change, then I'll obviously change it, and you'll see in the next episode when we... I'm pretty sure the next episode we're going to be starting the village or going back to spawn and do a couple more things, but we shall see until then. And uh, I will leave a marker here. It seems like a big enough like stream. Some boats could come down and stuff, but... We'll, we'll see. Oh! The boat. Kinda has a different texture, that's nice. It's a little bit darker. It looks fancy. Get out of here. Get, oh yeah, I got this bow. I named it Russ's AK. Added some books from the villagers. The villagers are very nice people. Very nice people. Let's put, uh... Russ's Viking Settlement. Uh huh. I've never really lived far from spawn, so this is gonna be di oh shit, different. Besides last season when we did the Herschel ship, but we never got to finish that, which we might this season. We will see. So I'm gonna put the marker there, and uh, we'll see what happens in the ex next episode. As turning night now, see what happens in the next episode if we end up uh, staying here or not. Let me take it quick screenshot if we end up staying here or not and i'll see you guys next time have a wonderful day bye bye Alright guys, uh, th this is a little bit of a update after the video, after the actual video. It seems like this spot is really good because it has a nice mountain which we could be u use for something. And then we have a river that leads... Oh, no, don't, you, don't kill me please. Even though I have the cords, but I still don't want you to kill me. We have the nice mountain there and lots of water like stream uh rivers and the place we set uh our spawn or point is over there it's just over a little hill right over there as soon as it loads right over there so over this oh my lord over that hill is this pond which could also be useful then over here is the big stream which could be used as big waters it, i think it's somewhat an island it definitely looks like it and i think this is where we where we will settle so i'll probably just shut up shut up <laughs> i'll probably just shut up a little shack uh off camera so i can get started a little bit and then we'll start building some things next episode so again goodbye